we're doing the same thing now with that natural cabbage juice made. So pouring it in and it's purple. Yay, purple. So that was water. I'm getting tired of talking. Okay, so the next one is sodium chloride. Putting in that purple juice cabbage thing again. It's purple again. Yay. And then... This is the hydrochloric acid pouring in the juice thing, and it's red, like the color of our ties. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep, and then now this is the base, the sodium hydroxide pouring in the cabbage juice, and it turned green? It turned green. Pretty cool. So, what do you have to say about this, Connie? Uh, nothing much. Yeah, nothing much. Okay, so yeah, bye bye. We're using universal indicator. You should have used this in like junior, junior, blah blah blah. So you know so it's already green. Green water, water should be green because it's neutral. Remember how the color changes from red to purple? Uh, red to purple. Yep. And then so this should also be green because it's a salt. See, so yeah, that's green. Yep. And then this sends an acid, so it should be red of some sort. Yep. See, red. You know, you see it. I see it. I see Christmas color. And then this one should be a purple because it's a base. Oh, that looks kind of black, but it's actually purple. Very dark purple. Yeah, it's very you can dark. See, yeah, I can see if I hold it to the light, you can see the purple tinge. No, it just looks black now, but actually it's purple. So, yes, that's the prep. We just tested the indicators. I'll write all of this on your sheet. And... Yeah, we're gonna do the next pack now. It involves that cabbage juice we made earlier. You can see how um, we boiled it and the cabbage is nearly white, so all the dye, natural dyes, went into the water. So, yeah. Talk to you in a bit. Same thing again, doing the same thing, using the indicator to see if it's an acid base or neutral. And now we're using phenyl phthalene. So, in water, it's. Precipitated. Milky. It's milky. White. That's weird. Okay, this is also neutral. This is sodium chloride. White. It's. Oh, oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh. It's like. It's still milky. It's, it's still. It's like. It's still very strange. Are you already putting more? Nah. Oh, do you want to put more? Okay. Nah, it's still pretty clear. It's relatively clear. clear. Okay, this is an acid. In acid, it's milky. And in this, it's not meant to be that blue, we didn't clean it properly. But it's pink. Very pink. So this is very pink. You should wear a pink shirt. Yes. Pink shirts are cool. Right, Connie? Okay. Yes, pink shirts are cool. So, yes, you can see the color. So, like, milky, well, clear, milky, pink. And that's the base. That's the base. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, now, the same thing. Water, water, sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid, and sodium hydroxide. Just to reiterate. We're just doing the same thing except a different indicator. This time it's methyl red. It says methyl red. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll do methyl, methyl red. Uh, you want to do it? Yeah, because I'm still recording. So Sorry if I'm talking too fast. I have to get through everything. You can do some of it. Her hands-on experience. This is it's methyl red and it's brown. Brown, yeah. Brown, if you can see. Brown. It's brown. Brown. Just keep going. We're right at the end. Now write water, all of this right? on your sheet so so that you see some water turned brown, sodium chloride, also brown. Okay, next. And then um, hydrochloric acid turned red. Ooh, red, the color of love, anger, whatever you want to call it. And um, sodium hydroxide, it's turned brown as well. Yay! Changing in hydrochloric acid. So the acid is the only thing that turned red. Okay, next. Bye bye. Oh, water. Okay, so hi, Ruben. This is one part of another prank we're doing. We're boiling. The water for a natural indicator it has cabbage yeah red cabbage and 100 mils of water and we're just boiling it to take out the color and then over here we're setting up our test tubes and then in one of them there's going to be water the other one's going to have um sodium chloride another one's going to have hydrochloric acid the last one's going to have sodium hydroxide we haven't done that yet so i'll show you in the next step red. Uh, Still recording? Okay, so we're putting in litmus solution into each test tube so to water? see what color it is. So now we're putting it in water, and it's 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 
still blue. What's the original color of the solution? Like purpley? So that's the color. Looks the same. It's okay. purpley. Yeah. So you say purple. Wait, I'll write it at the end. Huh? I'll write it at the end. I so I can do all of this in one go. Yes, right. boiling Sodium cabbage. Color. Yep. Alright, yeah, you the cabbage still needs to continue boiling. Sodium chloride, this is a salt. So we're putting in that purpley thing and it should turn out purple as well. Yep, okay, yep, it's purple. That doesn't mean anything. Next! Alright, next is which this one? This is um, hydrochloric acid, this is, so it's an acid. And, and it's turning red, yay! yay. Red acid, next, okay. This is sodium hydroxide, this is a base, so it should turn blue. Oh, I'll just say purple. Fudge. Oh, it's purple as well. Oh, it's got a bit of bluish. No, it has purple. No, it's just purple. Yeah, okay. Just purple. Right, purple. Yep, okay, next. Okay, we're doing the same thing again. Water, blah, 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 blah except we're using... Okay, we're gonna start now. Bromo, bromo thymol blue as an indicator. So, well, bro, whatever. Yeah. So in water, it is blue. In sodium chloride, it should be blue. Next, thank you, honey. In acid, in hydrochloric acid, it is. It's orange, red, orange. I don't know. I'll put in a bit more. A bit more would be nice. So you see the color. It's like orangey. No, that's an orange. That is an I orange. I believe that is an orange. It's an orange. Sorry, I can't focus on camera. Yeah, it will be orange because it is an acidic solution. Yes, and then this is... Blue! Blue! Like the color of dashi, except it's a darker blue. If you compare it's this... greener. This is this green. That's more greener. And then, so this is sodium chloride and it's neutral and that's a base and that's sodium hydroxide yes, this is green. you can see the difference in the colors neither blue dark yes aqua e okay, aqua like like the people who sang barbie girl okay sorry aqua is not a real color i'm a barbie girl okay so yep we're gonna do the next one okay bye go cut so i have to do this like this part again kind of no i don't know anyway so we're doing the same thing again checking using methyl orange indicator it's and very now we're putting it in water it's, it's very, very it's a very orange solution sorry you can't see and in water it's still orange yeah okay this is sodium chloride orange methyl orange going in it's 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 still orange, yay! And then, for this one, hi, me. <laughs> yep. Hi, Rabin. Yes, me says hi. Uh, listen, I've, I, have you gone, you haven't gone to the questions yet on the right. And I've also put this article up, which makes it, it's simple, but it's what you need to know about elements 112 to 118. So it just gives you, a, it's written in a chem matters exam, a magazine, but it makes it simplistic, as you possibly can. So I didn't want to print it off, but you can it's on it. The it's on the okay. underneath. Thanks, Miss. Okay, so this, is this red? Orange? It's still... Yeah, it's, it's, a red. Slight, it's a slightly red reddy, more toned compared to the other ones. And then the last one is uh, uh, sodium hydroxide. It's a base, so the color shall be unknown. Putting in methyl orange. Turned yellow? Orange? No, it's just orange. Sorry, I can't focus. My camera's not as good as yours, do. Uh, yeah, so it's still orange. It's really orange. Yep, okay, next. Sorry, it's all cut. So